Ford Protocol's got five different smart contracts. And today I'm going to speak to you about the proof of value, which helps facilitate the high quality online education. And proof of value is used here to identify a product's value based on the customer's use cases. Proof of value actually aims to show that the product will solve a customer's use case or their problem. So the value is delivered in different ways. And for example, we could look at, at it in this way. Value could be delivered when somebody writes an article. Or it could be delivered when somebody publishes in the Q&A. Or it can be delivered when an expert displays or propagates an active leadership. Or when an expert delivers a keynote speech to an audience. So students can become part of this community with an easy entry exit procedure. And once the proof of value has been established, the person delivering the value gets the incentive or the, or the monetary reward paid from the advertising on the page. They start participating in that page in the Q&A that they've actually contributed to or any other source of revenue that um, are provided by either donors or scholarships or any other sources. So donations would come into a pool in different methods and they're going to be distributed based on the proof of value framework which is the actual value that is placed on the creator's content. This figure is based on the demand and the interaction of the end users. It's usually a product of the importance to the audience and can be measured by the amount of upvotes received, by the readership numbers, by the number of shared, you know, times it's been shared, by the amount it's been saved, and, and those type of criteria. And what Ford Protocol does, it offers an online marketplace where skills knowledge and experience can be offered online to any user and can be monetized by the provision of education and training, advice and the acquisition of a new skill set. For example, through the proof of value mechanism that's embedded in Ford Protocol is a free reply post by a tutor to a user's question can actually turn out to be an ongoing source of profits for the tutor. Ford Protocol also supports crowd freelancing, uh, managing teams of freelancers to carry out parallel tasks to shorten the duration of, of, of its completion. And this basically means a whole lot of people working on a task to shorten the time that its actual delivery is, is completed in, and the recruitment of interns and tutors and, and just so much more. The major obstacle in any offer as such as a, a value proposition is the provision of highly qualitative educational content and training to students is a major attribute in attracting users to any online education platform. But in today's online education domain, the quantity of produced courses for profit is often preferred over their quality, as content creators enjoy a one-time and quite a small, a relatively small reward with each purchase of the course that they, they deliver. Now these dynamics actually foster the generation of rapidly and mass-produced courses that lack quality and lack any depth. And they don't have any merits that require additional time and investment, but do, they don't necessarily generate revenues to content creators in the same scale of large course production. Ford Protocol resolves this challenge by defining the terms via a smart contract to motivate the student and to increase the success of the teachers as more students complete these courses. So it makes the courses more valuable. For example, teachers can define a course, say a price of $300, um, which would be 300 FUSD, and determine that if a student enrolls in the course and finishes the course, they actually get a payback of $50. On top of that, what Ford Protocol provides in rewards um, in return to perceived quality of any course that are uploaded is that additional platforms can actually utilize it. We base the rewards of educators, of teachers, of tutors on the ongoing appreciation of their study materials and courses and the answers to students, the questions and any form of knowledge that they share online, anything that's transferred, that transfer of learning. Educational content creators are awarded with tradable and monetized forward tokens that they can use to earn their living um, by either trading them, 
to either fiat or other cryptocurrencies or you you know using them to motivate students or to purchase services services other services on the platform in the marketplace on the jobs board etc via these processes and technical means the ford protocol can actually provide an infrastructure and a platform for a skill-based marketplace for professionals and that's a big problem that it solves employers can post job proposals on the marketplace and will indicate the necessary skills to apply. Students who complete their basic or advanced training can apply for these jobs, and the prospective employer can verify that the applicants have actually acquired those skills they need to claim to actually possess the, the skills necessary for that job, and that their, their achievements, their studies, their course exams have actually been recorded in Ford Protocol, and they can be confirmed at any time on the blockchain. The courses and exams are reported via their ID, which is their wallet address in the blockchain. So when a student actually completes their training and applies for a job via Ford Protocol Job Market, the user ID is attached to both his online application and to his historical study records and credentials. And when a job is successfully completed and the contractor is paid for it, a share of Ford Protocol's commission is distributed between the educators and the tutors who contributed to the development of that contractor's skills. So everybody's getting rewarded for contributing to the learning. Ford Protocol will identify the creators of courses, the study material, and even the answers used by the contractors and distribute this among the dedicated amount to you know, reward the actual educators. The amount of commission that's shared Per former student may not be substantial yet, but the sum of the commission shares from the volume of former students becoming professionals can contribute to high revenues to educational content providers over time. So the more they work on the platform, the more the potential earnings grow. Also, educators can be and will be motivated to produce high quality courses and study material and to actually engage with students. Um, in tutoring them and tutoring large volumes of students, you know, just to make them more desirable to the job market, to actually help them perform better in the job market. The transparency of the protocol, you know, Ford Protocol system, is materialized as students' reviews can be generated only if students actually purchased a course and used the course and actually finished the course. You know, stopping fraudulent answers and negative reviews by course creators and competitors. These view reviews can actually be anonymous as um, the user ID on, on Ford IZ acts as a trustless and verifiable identifier that helps students that are registered to review courses and make a full or partial payment, you know, progress towards attending it. So the, the proof of value mechanism will work like this. An employer can post a job offer, for example, for a tutor's position through Ford Protocol's job marketplace. Any applicants will apply for the job and indicate their terms and pricing and qualifications, everything that they want from their side. And as part of the terms defined by the applicant's smart contract, the applicant can define a payback to the employer on the completion of full payment of the project as planned. So the applicant will automatically transfer Ford tokens you know, for the application to the Ford Protocol's wallet on its completion. The employer will then validate the qualifications of the applicant registered in the blockchain and will choose the best applicant for the job that they need, the best one that they want to employ. And payment in the terms of FUSD will automatically be transferred from the employer's wallet to an escrow wallet and the selected contractor can start their work. Now, once that work has been complete, you know, completed and the task has been verified complete, the contractor will notify the employer and will deliver any necessary submissions that they have for you know, proof that that's completed. And once the employer has confirmed that the work is successfully completed, the payment will be transferred to the contractor's wallet, minus the commission fees that will be transferred to Ford's wallet for its costs and the distribution between the educators involved in the contractor's training and that whole process of rewarding people that contributed towards that person getting the job. So examples of target, target deployments that could use the proof of value smart contract are upvoting on Quora, 
or on Product Hunt or integrating into free content social media sites, um, platforms where no social platform really gives incentives for users to be active. So an example of this would be a detailed analysis post about how to get your next job posted on LinkedIn where a proof of value type of concept is already on some of these platforms like Reddit, who has Karma Points, etc. So we could use that as, as an example. Internal support systems of any type of product, uh, the proof of value protocol can be integrated toward their customer support team based on the feedback that they get from customers. And amplifying effort a user puts into the sake of other users in the platform. For example, a user on Quora shares an answer written by another user and the author of the answer can announce a reward for amplifying their post. So all the way through on these different platforms, the proof of value smart contract can be used to reward other people for assisting you in you know, improving your status in a community, for improving your, your chances of getting another job, for the value that's been um, you know, transferred between two parties. It's a very useful smart contract in all of these different platforms and, and different institutions.